Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Do you believe in ghosts then? Do you know what I've been in? I've been in cells. I've been underground. Ooh. I've been like Not on all boy. the sorts of haunted stuff. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, <laughs> bad. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> never in that way. Never in that way. I'm an angel, darling. I'm yeah, an angel. Yeah, of course. That's why you're on the pod. Absolutely. But um, yeah, no, ha- paranormal, haunted, like I've yeah. done. I've, but you know what? I've never been scared of it. Well, that's what I was going to say. If some dead person came up but to I've me... I've people that have been scratching all sorts. Paranormal nights, like where they've been scratched through their really? clothes and pushed and... Yeah. But I'm, I'm in the lights. I'm in the light, you know? That's true. Staying in the light. You're fucking fine. <laughs> so do you, do you think there's something there then? What, like ghosts and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Because I've had one paranormal experience and I shat myself. Not literally, but <laughs> went to my friend's house... And uh, she didn't tell me until I got to the fucking... If I knew this, I wouldn't have gone round. I'd have been out like, of FaceTime you. She was like, oh, by the way, my house is built on a cemetery. I was like, cool. Anyway, I think nothing of it. I think, look, they're all underground. What are they going to fucking do? What weren't they going to do? Her parents were like, yeah, this house is fucked. Like, um, at night, you'll hear the cupboards open and plates smashing, but you'll go downstairs and it's all normal. So I thought, maybe, you know, maybe they're all having night tremors or whatever terrors not tremors and then um when we were at night her door was shut and they kept the landing light on and you could see someone like walking up and down past her door and i was like who the fuck is that it was 1am i opened the door no bastards there so we shit ourselves we go sleep in her brother's room because he's not there and uh leave the door open and you just see the bathroom door swinging open and shut and um, we went into her living room the next day because somehow managed to sleep, don't know. Um, and I went, as a joke, because I thought it's bollocks. Mm. Um, yeah, if anyone's here, just turn the TV off. TV turned off, wouldn't turn back on. And I was like, gotta go. Called my mum, never went back. Fucked. Now I'm a believer. I actually am. Really scary. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you would hope. At least you're not sceptic, do you know what I mean? No. Oh, the times we have to prove things to people. Well, that must be annoying because you're constantly there. And they want to know like, their right. blood type and their street <laughs> they, live, they live on and their door number. Is and... that relevant? Can you tell oh. that though? If you were to someone where you'd be like, right. I feel like the thing is your mind, your mind comes in sometimes. Mm. So if someone says, what door, what, what number do I live at? In your head, you're going to think one, five, seven, 11, 12. You're going to get in because you just, your mind comes in. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, for me, it's something that I... Like I said, I never thought I would be doing it. And yeah. It's been like 12 years or so now. Um, and I, yeah, and I, I think, I feel like I take it quite seriously. But this, I also respect the fact that people don't believe. And sometimes you just need a bit of proof. Yeah. You know? Well, I bet it's quite, not like <clears throat> nice, but when you prove to someone and they're just like, oh my God, no, fair enough. Mm. But do you not, this is the thing. Do you not get scared speaking to people? Like the first time that you maybe had an interaction with, how does it work? When you see someone that's passed or whatever, can you see them like? It depends. It's it's different every time. Right. Sometimes it's more vo- voice. Mm-hmm. So I'll hear the names. I get a lot of names that are normally like quite, dead on mm-hmm. right um and then it's feelings it's image sometimes i will right. see what they look like what they look like they will make me feel what they felt so mm-hmm. i will feel like i don't feel physical pain you know some some will say oh you know he's making me feel pain around my neck because he hung himself i don't feel physical pain but i'll be Quite aware of drawn to oh well, yeah yeah I'll, <laughs> I'll be aware of being drawn to an area but because i started it so young mm. At one point, it made me quite ill because I was, what, 15 and I was getting things in my head all the time. Really? Like, I couldn't switch off. How do you? Like, I'd say to my mum, oh, such and such is going to be pregnant next week, pregnant. And it would just be... Just ruins all the fucking surprises well, for you. <laughs> Pregnancy announcement, fucking would know be, that. It would be all the time. And now I feel like I'm more in control of it, you know? So you can just switch off. Because this is how I imagine it, right? You go down the street... You walk in Liverpool Street, someone there, your nan says hello, by the way, someone else. Like, that's how, like, you're constantly seeing stuff, but it's not like that. No, 
Okay, I don't think the up. ones that the ones that say, "Oh, I go in the supermarket and I can't cope with the emotion," I, I don't get it. Me, I don't get it. No, never experienced it. I don't understand it. For me, it's just there when I want to give a reading. It's there. Yeah, those feelings come, but other times, no. How did you get into doing celebrity readings then? Do you know what? I think it started with the Tawi lot. Oh, right. Okay. Love mm. that. Just, just through Instagram, really. Mm -hmm. Have you had, ever had anyone that's a bit of a diva, like having the readings done? Do you know what? I haven't... No, I've... Do you know what? I've met some really nice, some re say influencers, celebrities, some really nice people, actually. Mm. Again, I've had one or two occasions where they don't want to accept what you're saying. Of course. Well, I was going to say, has there been one that stands out for you where you've had to give someone, like news or something and they've taken it really badly no god you're doing fine then yeah if this was me i'd probably get punched in the face i'd be like i just what do you want from me you have to you know, I have to be so careful how i say things as well you mm. know yeah because it is such responsibility yeah you, yeah. <laughs> yeah but they hold you know a lot of people they hold on to everything that you say mm -hmm. i mean you're talking about their mum who's passed or you know my, my cleaner right comes in last week um, and it's the mum that owns the cleaning company. She didn't look right and she started chatting to me. She's mopping away, chatting away, and she said to me, you know, I lost my mum and I've never got over it and everything. And I said, look, I said, come, you know, if you want to come and see me, she said, I would love her in, come and see me, I'll fit you in. So I fitted her in and it was like, she was, she was broke, you know, the things that were coming up that I was like, you know, when she started telling me things, I was like, don't tell me anything, let me tell you. And yeah. she, she mentioned to me that she didn't have anything to do with her mum, right? And she sat down and I said, look, you know, two years, I don't think we spoke. She said, yeah, two years we didn't speak, me and my mum. And I told her the time that she died, the date that she died, right? And sometimes, you know, if you could witness what I do on a day-to-day on a -day basis. Mm. And I have those readings where I think that was a bit naff. And I'll always say, have your money back. You know, I don't, right, I'm, yeah. I'm very genuine in that respect, but, but yeah, no, um, sometimes you just can't, you just can't make it up, but yeah. it literally changes people's lives. And I've been there, you know, when I first, when I've, when I've lost people and I was very young, I've been very grateful and very lucky. I've had great grandparents until my mid twenties. Right. But when you experience loss at such a young age, I'm getting a bit deep now, when you experience <laughs> loss at such a young age or trauma, mm. It's there forever. Yeah. And I feel sometimes, like sometimes it's like scars well. that are there forever. Yeah. And you can't, it's like, I can't bring your mum back to you. I can tell you as much as I can. Mm. But yeah, sometimes I think it's... that helps either way though, even if it's just something. Especially if you're young and maybe you don't really remember certain things. Having a reading can sometimes help if they have can contact mm -hmm. whatever. I don't know how it works, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But I, I had a psychic reading, wasn't it this year or last year? I'm going to say last year, but I think I went to like a shoddy person because she okay. went to me. She went, Grace. I went, yes. She went, by November, you are going to meet the love of your life. No, fucking pregnant. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Give me a glass of wine quick. <laughs> um, now she was like, you are going to be, um, you're going to find the love of your life. Paps, absolutely everywhere. Your name is going to be in fucking lights. And I was thinking... <laughs> to be fair um what else did she say um she said someone who'd passed was trying to contact me as well anyway november came i was the biggest virgin i've ever been don't think i even made any money in november let alone have my name in lights and i just thought <laughs> you beast because you could have you could have just done the normal route of yeah you know good health um good times mm. that's it but she got me all built up. And that's mm. why I think the danger of sometimes some people do it. Because there is people, there's like that with everything. Some people say they've got it and they don't actually have it and they make money out of it. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, why? It's a mm -hmm. bit cruel. Mm -hmm. Especially if people have passed and she's going, someone's passed trying to reach out to you. And I'm thinking, she was giving me names. I'm going, I don't have a fucking that, clue. Yeah, and no. I'm thinking, maybe I'd go through the family tree. I was mm. thinking, who mm. is Roger and why has he contacted me? <laughs> I don't have one in my family. It was mental. I think that's the danger of it, isn't it? Yeah, 